Hey, what's up, guys? It's Creative Myth here again. Another Minecraft video. And I, I didn't mean to move right there, so I'm gonna just keep looking at this. In this video, yesterday, I was messing around with this video editing software that I have. And I figured out, I figured out what the basics mostly, 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 I. That's not a word. Mostly, mostly. Okay. I figured out the basics mostly. And I'm gonna put some editing in this video. I didn't mean to make that. Okay. So now I gotta put some stuff in the chest like that. That I never touched my map once. Just didn't touch it. Let's go some of that, some of that. Alright. Give me my stuff back, alright? Give me my stuff. Alright? Bam. Bam. And today, I thought I'd talk about something that, um, saying that, I guess if you're in school, it would be helpful. More so, if you're in more so college, it'll be more helpful. But if you're in like high school, I guess it'll be helpful. Like if you're one of those people who who take high school seriously, cause I didn't take high school seriously. But if you want to get into a good college straight out of high school, you can take high school seriously. Now, like people who don't take high school seriously, they go straight to the the community college there's nothing wrong with the community college there's nothing wrong with it I, i'll be honest like them at the good schools not ivy league schools but like a good like yeah i know what i'm talking about though everyone has them schools in the state it's like a state school or like the state university which is a good school but it's not an Ivy League school, but it's like well known in your state. Schools like those, as far as like the learning and the teaching, it's not much different from the community colleges. Okay, it's not. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Okay, like I said before, I live in New York, Queens, New York. We have a community college called Queensboro Community College but we also have some of the top business schools and other well-known schools like Baruch NYU well I think NYU is an Ivy League school so I'm not gonna say that I'm not sure if it's Ivy League or not but it's well known stuff like oh look a slime stuff like St. John's well-known schools okay and as far as like the the teaching and what you learn there it's not much different okay what you learn in st john's or at baruch you can learn in the community college and people think i'm joking no okay if you ask some of your teachers like if you go to the community college or if you but even if you go to the St. John's or something, if you ask your teachers there, do they teach anywhere else? Some of them will say yes. Okay. Some teachers at community college, they teach at other universities. And they say that they teach the same lessons, the same course, the same everything. They use the same notes for every school that they teach at. So is there really a difference if you, if the same, I mean, uh, if different schools be having some of the same teachers and they use the same notes, the same lectures, is there really a difference? It's no difference. But I will say like state universities and other schools, they do offer more opportunities like internships and volunteer work 
they offer way more opportunities than your community college that's or I think that's mainly like the reason why a community college it be getting no love in these streets of America because people they be like oh if you go to community college the chance the chances of you actually getting like an internship or doing volunteer is pretty low because it's not like they encourage you or it's not like they encourage you or tell you how important it is or anything like that oh I didn't even hit that but at, at like St. John's or something they tell you be like yo you need this internship you need this experience you gotta get this I'm trying to better your future okay they probably make it mandatory to get one hey you want some seeds here get out my face okay you're just checking out my face I gave you seeds already look he's he's horny look look at that he he he's trying to hunt my leg like a dog he's trying to hunt my leg like a dog you sick chicken okay you're sick move okay another thing okay not nothing but what I was genuinely about to talk about was test okay test test or exams quizzes stuff that people usually don't like to take in school is test exams and quizzes people don't like taking it now I will be the first one to say I don't mind taking tests in school. I don't mind it. I never had a problem with taking tests. Never in my life. Now y'all probably think that I'm some some weirdo from another planet, which is partially true. You know, I come from Mars, but that's besides the point. That is besides the point. Point is, everyone has to take tests whether you like it or not you're gonna have to take it okay right yeah I know I'm right and I'm gonna just give y'all some tips to pass these tests because I have tests you have tests I want to pass tests you want to pass tests I want a hundred you want a hundred now if you don't want a hundred you ain't got to listen to this but if you want that hundred, you want to listen to this, okay? So, my first tip, okay, the first two tips is very basic, right? It's common sense, okay? First tip is to copy down notes in class. Is that not common sense? Do you not do that already? You do? Okay. But to get the most notes, don't just copy down what the teacher writes on the board. J jot down some notes of what the teacher be saying. Because you know a lot of times teachers, they write down stuff on the board. But they say, they say things about what they write down. But they don't write down everything that they say. So if you could try to write down what they say along with what they write down on the board you're gonna get everything you're catching everything and you will have more detail and you will understand more of what the heck you're writing down okay and that goes along with step one is understanding what you're writing down okay don't just be copying notes and don't have a clue of what you're writing Okay, you ever had a time where you're writing down notes and you have no idea what's going on or your mind like just like just wandered somewhere for like a minute or two and then when you snap back to reality, you realize, hey, they're talking about something that, I, that like I don't understand. I don't know what's going on. I'm lost. And you just sit there writing down notes and you're lost and you don't ask the teacher hey can you repeat that can you say that again 
Can you spit those bars again? I didn't catch it. It went over my head. Okay? Has that ever happened to you? I know it. I know I've done that a lot of times. A lot of times where I'm just chilling. Me, I don't know if I have ADD or something. But a lot of times I just be chilling and my mind just be wandering. It wanders off for like a couple minutes. Then I come back. When I snap back, I, like, I realize, like, I don't know what's going on. And instead of, instead of, like, asking the teacher or the professor, hey, can you, like, repeat that because I don't get it? Or, like, can you say that again? I just sit there, lost. I don't do it as much now, but I still do it, you know, from time to time. It still happens, okay? And that's a big no-no. That's a no-no, okay? If you want to get these hundreds, you can't be doing that, okay? Learn from my mistakes and other people's mistakes. Learn from it, okay? Learn from it, all right? Step two. Step two. Dos. You got to actually study these notes. Okay, study these notes. Okay, now studying that's common sense. Okay, but how you study is totally up to the person. Okay, that depends on you. Okay, there's thousands of different ways to study. Okay, me, I personally study, I like to study just by just looking at my notes and just reading it over and over again that's like the basic okay that's the basic okay not everybody could remember and study just by sitting there and reading a lot of people can't do that okay i knew someone where like the only way he would remember his notes and study is he would take his notes and he would type his notes up like three times three or four times he would have to type it up that's how he remembered there's a million different ways to study i knew this kid where the only way he could study and remember was like reading his notes out loud and trying to teach somebody what his note says like that, there's a lot of different ways to study, okay? You have to find the best way that you know how to study or the best way to help you remember, okay? That's the best way to study. And another tip, now, like I said, this doesn't happen, not happen, but this doesn't refer to everybody. It don't refer to me because when I like to read, like my notes, I like to read with my headphones in. I got the music, go I got the music blasting, you know. I got it blasting. So I like to be by myself, my music, my food, my notes, my books, and I just go ham with the reading, okay. But if you are someone out there who likes study groups, you could do a study group. It never hurts to do a study group. 90% of the time, you will remember more when you study in a group anyway. Okay? 90% of the time. Okay? If you're good at math, 90 out of 100, that's great. Okay? So, study in a group if you can. And that iron just fell. Should I go down there? I'm going to make a staircase down there. But yeah, study in a group if you can. And if it's your preference to... Study in a group. Okay. Oh, I don't know what's down here. Okay, it looks like nothing down here. Okay. Step three. Okay. Now this one. This one. It's gonna. Uh, it's gonna depend on the situation. Okay. This one is doing homework. Okay doing homework okay now i know 
if you're in high school and well if you're in high school you don't want to do homework I didn't do homework you think I did homework in high school I probably did what two homeworks a month I would come straight home and get straight on Xbox with me and my friends you think my friends did homework too no in high school I didn't even know what homework was I didn't know what homework was I didn't do it okay so do the homework the homework especially if you have like math classes especially for math classes because math classes you could it's easier to remember how to do the math problems if you actually do problems okay it's easier if you actually do problems with math like for instance I, I'm taking pre-calculus I'm taking a pre-calculus class okay and I'm in college so you know you gotta like buy the textbooks but me you think I'm gonna go and spend a hundred dollars on a textbook no or then for pre-calculus they wreck what well, you don't have to but they recommend that you buy um a graphing calculator you think I want to spend seventy dollars on a graphic calculator no now if this was me like like a semester or two ago I probably would have bought it honestly I probably would have bought it. my first semester I would just in my first second semester I would literally just just buy any textbook that my teacher would tell us to buy okay if you go to college don't do that okay okay trust me don't do that because there will be plenty of times and this happened to me before where you buy a textbook and the teacher don't even use the textbook they don't even use it and you know how that's like the most frustrating part when you buy a textbook and a teacher don't use it that sucks okay and this is a dangerous move right here but I'm but I'm gonna do it anyway uh all right walk back up here uh okay you see you see smart tactics smart tactics and I can just jump over there what the heck who shot me what the oh he's oh I can't uh okay I gotta get him down but yeah textbook in college don't just buy any textbook that the teacher tells you to buy cuz if you don't use the textbook like you're gonna get mad that's why what I do I genuinely like they say buy a textbook what the heck is he doing you see what the freaking weirdo and I should have made some armor I'm gonna go make some armor right now okay but yeah but what I genuinely like to do is they say buy a textbook I usually wait well this, this is just me you don't have to do this okay but this is just me I genuinely wait like and how do I, how do I get back up but like, I genuinely wait like three weeks or something or like a like a month or even go as far as wait into the first test go as far as waiting when the teacher gives the first test okay they give the first test or you take notes and stuff all right and if your notes are looking nice if if your notes give like good information or if like if like the teacher like doesn't say like if the teacher doesn't say oh go home and read this and stuff like that and they don't go over what they <coughs> oh ah excuse me for that sneeze that was like unexpected
it, it really came out of nowhere. But you know how when you're about to sneeze, you make that face and you can feel it? I didn't feel that sneeze coming at all. I didn't feel it. But yeah. I usually wait like a month just to see if like just to see if, if the teacher says certain things like oh go home and read this if you want to learn more about this or or read so and so to get more information usually teachers don't say that because whatever that they're gonna teach you I mean whatever the book is supposed to teach you they're gonna teach you in class anyway So, for instance, where that? Am I gonna go down there for that? Yes, I am. For instance, I have. Uh, I'm taking a history class. Medieval, medieval times and Western civilization, something like that. Okay. And the teacher tells us, "Oh, go buy the textbook." You know stuff like that. I go by the textbook. It's they say it's needed for the course. But guess what? It's been a month. I didn't buy the textbook. You know why? You know why I didn't buy it? Cause it's pointless. It, it it's pointless. <laughs> what the heck was that? Where he come from? I got him though. I got him though. I'm not stupid. Let me eat this first. But yeah. But yeah, they say buy it. And it's pointless because she's teaching us everything we need to know in the class already. Okay? And if she's teaching us everything we need to know in the class, what's the point of me going out and spending? Even though this textbook, that class, it's like. Thirty dollars, but still, what is the point of me? What is the point of me going out spending thirty dollars for a textbook that I'm not gonna open, that I'm not gonna read, and all the information inside that book is gonna be in my notebook already? Because you're teaching it to me when I go to class. What's the point, huh? You tell me. It's no point, right? Okay. The only class you really need to buy textbooks from. I mean, textbooks for is generally for, for like math classes. And generally for math classes because some teachers they do give homework. Um, and let the the questions is inside the math book. But if you have those cool teachers where they'd be like, you know what, homework it doesn't count for anything in this class. Okay, no matter how much homework you do. I'm not going to give you a grade for homework. Homework is there just to help you learn. And as you see, another pig has joined. I don't know where he came from, but I got their backs, though. I got their backs, but yeah. So, another thing. All right. So, yeah, do a homework. Okay. Do homework. You learn. All right. You learn. Alright, that's about it for that one. And I'm assuming that they just did something and, and they... Okay, you dirty sons of bitches. And you're not getting out neither. You see, he tried, he tried to get out, but I wasn't gonna let him. Okay. Alright, another thing for tests. Now, when I say... No, this probably goes along with step three. I mean, step two, as far as, like, studying study on a consistent basis okay consistent don't just study once a week oh don't study once this week then don't study next week then study once the week after that don't start the next week study like don't do that that's not consistent enough okay you have to study at least twice a week no less than twice every single week Okay, and he's chasing this bunny around looking for and he got him and he got it you savage you freaking savage what what is this 
a raw rabbit but yeah you gotta study at least twice a week okay that's how you get the hundreds okay do you want these hundreds do you want these Benjamin Franklin's okay you want your tests you want the number or your test to have the same number as Benjamin Franklin right of course you do as I do okay so I guess that's that's my tips you know there's obviously more tips out there but those are just things that that I do or that I know I should do and don't get me wrong I do I do all those things well besides <laughs> besides more so like homework for like math class because I do in my, pre my pre calculus class um I have one of those teachers that'd be like oh do um, get the test book and do the homework but the homework it doesn't count towards your grade so I was like okay homework don't it don't count towards my grade I'm not gonna buy a textbook I'm not gonna do the homework so that's exactly what I did I, I didn't buy the textbook I didn't do the homework and I told you in my last week video I had a test for pre-calculus and you know what I got I actually got a pretty good grade okay I'm not gonna tell you the exact number, but I did get above 80. Okay, I got in between a 80 and a 90. I got I got in between there. I could oh another thing for taking tests when you're taking the test, like you're in class taking the test, don't try to rush through. Okay, cause that's I think that's sort of what my problem was with this test. I tried to rush through, well not rush. But you know how, like, when you when you know, you know, that the formulas, you know, you know the answers. So you go into the test and you instantly just go on like, like autopilot. You go on autopilot. You doing the things and then you don't even realize until you get your test back that you made a stupid mistake, an easy mistake. And that's what happened to me. I made a couple stupid mistakes. Because I wasn't like checking over my answers, stuff like that. I just go on all a pilot and I do the answers. And I hand it in. Bang, bang, bang. Like I'm out of there. I'm going home now. Don't do that. Right? Check your answers. Double check your answers. Okay? Read the questions twice if you have to. You no, know, just to. Just to make sure you get these, but you get those answers right. Okay, take your time. Okay, take your time. Patience is key. Okay, do you know? Do you know? Six, six out of ten times, the person, everyone knows, like a person who thinks they did good on a test, but then they get the test back and they fail. Everyone knows that person. Six out of ten times, it's the person that finishes first. The person that finishes first be like, oh yeah, you know, I got this right. I mean, like, like I got every question on the test right. I get the test back, 60. Or, like, uh, 62. You don't want to be that guy, so just take your time. Take your time. And everything will be alright, okay? Now, I'm going to end the video right here, okay? Like I said before, I'm, I'm going to have some video editing things in here. And I did just stutter right there, so disregard that. Why is that? What, a, what, what do you want from me? You leave. But yeah, I'm going to have some video things in here. It's just like basic things. I'm still learning how to use it. And it's, I'm not going to keep these things forever, okay? I know these things are weird. It's going to look weird. But I just put it in just to see how it looks. So tell me if you like it. If you think my video editing sucks, you can tell me in the comment section. If you think it's like the best thing you ever seen, 
Tell me in the comment section. And use my tips for passing these tests. Use them. Use them wisely. Wisely. And I will see you in my next video. Like. Subscribe. Watch my previous stuff. See you in my next video.